<laughs> Such a nice facility, you know. <laughs> it's really making me act better. Got you acting right. I got a little wing for Charlie. This is, oh, this, this is, is what you were referencing earlier. Yeah, yeah, this is the Jimmy Dale little wing. This is, this is this is the race winner. This is all the downforce. How many yeah. horsepower? Oh, that doesn't add the horsepower? No, 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 no. traction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. traction. Hey, we would have yeah. had that little wing on now all the time. Last weekend, been 20, Little Wings won three events. <laughs> Billy, Tommy, and Magic all won last weekend. All sporting a Jimmy Dale Little Wing. People need to get hit with it. Let them know. Yeah. So you can't argue with the results. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Tried and true. Jimmy Dale Little Wing. Got my new Hotboy break Sunday. Super stoked about that. You seen those yet? Yeah. Show me. So what is it? Hotboy? He said, what is it? What is it? <laughs> hot, hot boy right brakes. here, they're, they're called hot boy brakes. No, they're the Strange Evolution 4 brakes. They come out September 14th on Strange Engineering. Back on the flow board. Like, it's, it's super basic. Like, I don't want to say there's nothing there mm. because <laughs> Like what y'all are used to, there's a bunch of extra crap. Yeah, look at this crappy battery box that he's got going on in there. We're gonna swap them out. <laughs> yeah, Who needs a better battery? I mean, guys, it works. <laughs> it's like it's functional. I don't want to ask my boys, yeah, hey, let me get one of those tin soldiers. <laughs> These guys make a really nice piece. Insert that nice piece from the yeah, website right drop here. Drop it. Pop. Yeah. Pop. That. Yep. So you can go over there and get that nice piece, or you could use what's already in the car. A lot more. Actually, been soldier repping all the time, dude. And I saw the soldier boy, the, the eagle logo on the side. Oh, dude, not the many sticker people on. got these. Nah, right that's here. exclusive that's, right there. That's kind of exclusive, yeah. That's kind of exclusive. It, it took me five hours to find the right spot. But <laughs> I think I nailed it. Yeah, those birds right there, Perfect. they've been winning yep. some money, dog. This is what, you know, really took me from a turbo kid to a nitrous kid again. Ah. And then opened all the doors, you know. This is the one that... I built my relationship with Nitrous Express and all the other companies you see and some that you don't see on here. But yeah, dude, tagged, inspected, daily driver trim right here. That's no, right. No mini tubs. That's kind of like a, a thing is that you can't have mini tubs in daily driver spec. Mm. And you got to have exhaust to the rear, which we got. And uh, in the south, it's foot brake only for daily drivers. So. Okay. This is about as rowdy as you're gonna get for a daily driver spec car hmm. in the Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas-ish area. I don't know, again, I don't know, how different is this from like the Midwest, like daily driver, but like what the old man would, like is it? Yeah, so the old man's obviously got AC, that'd be a big difference, is the AC and he's got overdrive transmission. So overdrive transmission, he's got AC and he's got a hydraulic roller. He's got a hydraulic roller cam, uh, which makes it a little bit more street friendly. I also have an Iski racing cam in my car, uh, but this is a solid roller. Just a little bit more maintenance mm. than, uh, than the hydraulic setup. Your boy keeps forgetting to put the hood pins in, so I got my Reifser pins. Those things are... They work. Never, I haven't know. seen those. Looks uh, simple. They work, yeah. It's dirty now, but... It's got two stages of Nitrous Express on it. It's got all runs off a single fuel log, which supplies for the carburetor in both Nitrous kits. And then you guys can hit up 10 soldiers and get this exact same Nitrous crate. This is a dual entry crossbar kit. Each stage is good for 500 horsepower, but I have a, a 400 shot. Mm -hmm. Actually, not really. I guess it's a 400 depending on who you ask, all right? In this, let's call it a 400, but I have a 110 jet in the front. And I have an 88 jet in the back. So the 110 jet is my big kit and the 88 jet is my small kit. So I use the 88 jet for like index racing, 650, 8, 580, that kind of thing. And then heads up racing, uh, True Street, Daily, Grudge, whatever. That would be my big kit, you know. The boy's always giving me hell about, let's spray both kits. I just don't have the nuts to do that, you know. <laughs> This is the motor that me and the old man built with Bob McVeigh. Uh, it's the same motor that came in the car when I got it. It was a 427 when I got it, and now it's a 434. It's about as basic as it gets. It's still 23 degree, which is like uh, 
Ricky, for you to done know, <laughs> 23 degrees, like the stock cylinder head okay. design for a small block. And then after 23 degree head, you get into 18 degree, 15, 11 degree, 13, stuff like that. Uh, those are more radical combinations, you know? Yeah, I have another motor that goes in here that's a 15 degree motor. Uh, and it's actually a Henson Racing right now being rebuilt. He, mess he messaged me right before we started recording. He said, bro, this thing's hurt. <laughs> yeah, I was telling y'all the story earlier about how I was pushing oil. Yeah, it was hurt. Dog, so. I don't know how hurt. We'll check the phone in a little bit and see how hurt it was. But yeah, it's got a 10 soldiers throttle pedal in it. And I have a 10 soldiers, what do y'all call it? Battle ready or what? Battle ready 88 kit? Battle ready 88. This is the 88 that was in the car when I got it. My okay. battle ready 88 just got powder coated today. So it's back in Texas. I need some small stuff like some spherical bushings to put in it a new rear housing you know to put on it and then i'll be able to put that in the car nice. i think that'll make a big difference people don't even ever realize this but the the rear ends they tend to bend up and back hmm. so your tires want to go like that hmm. or at least in my experience that's what i i believe and i've kind of had like we talked i think in the podcast a little bit earlier kind of had an issue with my car trying to wander around on the big end and trying to fix that so first things first today we're going to get some shorter anti-roll bar end links and we can look under there in a little bit and mm -hmm. i'll show you where it's smacking the floorboard cool. and uh that's just like super common fox body problems hmm. is that the end links that come in a fox body anti-roll bar kit typically people will weld their tabs a little high on the rear end gotcha. and then the throw of the anti-roll bar as the rear end comes up the top of the anti roll bar smacks the floorboard. Okay. That's like right here. Boom, yeah. it smacks it. And so once it smacks it, now your suspension's doing nothing. Yeah. And you're just riding on the anti roll bar. Mm. That's not really the way to do <laughs> it, you know? So I have a feeling that's causing some of my stability issues. Gotcha. But I'll show you that right now. Peep game. So this is your anti roll bar end link right here. Look right here. See oh, the yeah. dent in the yeah. floor? It's got them on both sides where it's it's dented the floorboard yeah. from the car coming down when it leaves or maybe on the big end where it's squatted really hard. My solution was I'm going to cut a hole in the floor, but, you know, talk to you guys and that was not acceptable. <laughs> so the, the real sure solution that. is just to shorten this end link piece down. And if I shorten this, then it'll have more throw up and down, you know. Yeah, yeah. That'll be the game changer. Yeah, that'll get it right. Yeah, right. but I mean, other than that, just basic Fox body stuff, all stock location, like lower control arm location stock, upper control arm location stock, no fancy aftermarket anything here or anything down here. A lot of guys will put lower control arm relocation kits on their car. What that does is it lets them drop this lower bar lower mm. and then they start to get separation in the back mm. which for a radial is, is real okay. efficient yeah but i've never really needed that on this car it's just never been one of those things where i've been like you know what i should try to put those on here because it's always worked so well yeah 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 it's, you know it's not broke don't try to you yeah. know don't try to fix what's not broke right and other than that i mean I don't have any fancy carbon work like what you guys are used to seeing. Again, and I mean no disrespect, but as not a car person, compared to the things that come in here, this does look very basic and simple, like very basic. pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. Yeah, so. extremely straightforward. Something that was built in somebody's like you know regular two door garage. Yeah. Not built by a professional company by any stretch of the but imagination. It, but it's working well for you. Yeah, it, it's it's been very proven for a very yeah. long time no that's right yeah it's been banging on there pretty good yep well right now you got them lengthened if you just shorten them a little bit you got the homes like ran way out yeah you know so uh, yeah. honestly i don't know how to do any roll bar so once the car goes straight i'm like don't touch it don't look at it <laughs> <laughs> you know? so really you just need all you need is for brad to set your anti-roll bar so you drove all the way from Texas for him to just set your anti-roll bar. I came for the Kent Rose race. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I came for the Kent Rose race. This is a park of the Yeah, you just happen to stop by here so that yeah, we can yeah, set yeah, your yeah. head that real I mean, yeah. it's got wheelie bar mounts on it, though. I mean, check that out. Yeah, it had wheelie bars on it. At, at one point, I have a... I have a 60 pound lead bar and I, I okay. made, I, I fabricated. Can you believe that? I'll bet your fabrication was awesome. <laughs> it didn't fall off. <laughs> but uh, I had a 60 pound lead bar and it would run from wheelie bar mount to wheelie bar mount and it would mount right here. And it just didn't matter how much weight I put on the rear end housing. It never gave me any immediate results. Like it wasn't just like, oh, fixed it weight on the chassis is effective weight on the rear end to me has no positive effects no you, i would agree with that you don't agree with no, that? no i agree with that i think you see it a lot where people hang weight on the rear end housing and i mean maybe it's aphrodisiac they're like weight on the rear end it's more weight on the tire you can ask brad what he thinks about on the rear end housing weight he's gonna laugh at us no he doesn't like it yeah it doesn't make any sense. It, it didn't work for me. Brad, the only thing you got, Jimmy drove all the way up here from Texas just so that you can set his anti roll bar. There's no fab work required. I There's... could have told you how to do it over the phone. <laughs> but he wanted you to touch it. <laughs> touch it. What? Touch it. What do you think? What's your guess? Is this uh, with you in it? No, without me in it. Without you in it? Have you ever had on scales? Yeah, but I forgot. And it, I had ballast in it when it was on the scales, and there's no ballast. No in ballast it. in it. I mean, I don't. There, there's five water bottles in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Other than this, Nick, I don't know that we're gonna have any problem. Uh, that changes the way to well. <laughs> you know, when you get that th that throttle whopper stomper pedal, whatever we're gonna call it. <laughs> That's. You need all that to fix your 18 degree motor from yeah. out of your throttle whoppers. <laughs> Yeah, never lied, boy. Yeah, never lied. I think it's gonna be. I actually, I think it's gonna be twenty seven hundred without you in it. I'm gonna say twenty eight eighty. What do you think, Brad? You got. You can't. You can't put it down on there. Yeah, you got a gamble. <laughs> what do I think it's gonna be without Jimmy in it? Yeah. Uh, how much ballast you got in it? None. Zero. Oh, none. Yeah, it's probably damn near empty in the back too. I bet you it's twenty. 550 without a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's been smoking something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's aluminum. Iron block? No, it's, it's iron block. It's painted silver. Yeah, you like it that? It might be heavier than that. It's I thought, aluminum. I thought it was aluminum block. It's aluminum spray paint. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> really nice. I think I yeah. should with my first guess. Yeah. 28091, huh? What'd you say? 2880. It's exactly 2880. 2881. <laughs> See, if you had an aluminum block, then you could be like, oh, it's 2808. Is it okay. character dyslexic? Oh, so I'm 80 pounds off. Yeah. <laughs> 2808. Now what can I take off? I did agree with Brad. I thought that that motor was aluminum. I thought it was. And then I looked at it harder and I was like, oh, there's some spray paint chipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't afford aluminum blocks where we're going. All right. You're just used to the typical customer in here that's got <laughs> aluminum block. <laughs> you need to do some cutting, bud. This yeah, I know. Where? Where are we cutting it? Everywhere. I'll say, after this, you can go over and look at the gray mare. I did. And see I what mean, an all steel, all glass. I don't know if this has, body looks. If this has door bars or not. That's all steel, all glass ish. <laughs> if you want to set the anti roll bar ones on the scale. Yeah. Can you hop, hop in, in there, bud. Time to be a race car driver. <laughs> yeah, the door. Cutting on this. this thing's a tank. Yeah. Look, the, the dash is all gutted. Not gutted enough. It said not gutted enough. Got a headliner. Got this little light thing. Was it going straight last time you had it out or was it going to the right? I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember? It was going to the right because I was counter steering to the left. Yeah. He already knew the answer of which way it was going. Just looking. I at had it. to he think knew. about it, but I almost hit the left wall last time. So it's like, <laughs> okay, that means that I was doing this number. 
you know. This is a lot better with the seat pad in there. Like, a lot better. You're welcome. Yeah. Just need a little guy to sit in there for a second. This is a great move. Really good move. Did you change your anti-roll bar? Did it, you, did it used to have one of the double linkers in here? No, hell no. For some reason, I thought it did. That would be embarrassing as fuck. Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, that was probably big, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty little. It'd be all right, though. Good enough for a 119. Yeah, yeah. It's good enough for 119 how it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I picked up a 5th to the 60 foot, tied in the front. Yep. If the front's too fast, it'll come up and on, and then when it tops the front end out, it'll unload the tire. Say that again? <laughs> if the front is too fast and it comes up and tops the front shock, shock out or hits the front limiters yeah. and it doesn't carry a wheelie, it'll unload the back tire. So it's either got to be loose enough that it wheelies or tight enough that it doesn't come up and smack the limiters or the top of the shock. Okay, well that yeah, that's like for radial prep. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's how we went 119, dog. I ain't going 119 in no prep. Uh, yeah, you can. Even though this thing's a third. Yeah. It's frustrating, but it's so heavy. Like I said, you just need to cut more. Yeah, I mean, I think I still got door bars. And you need to take them door panels off and start cutting. Squeaky, squeaky. Hit your fishing water. Yeah, you like that? I like that. There you go. That should go straight. It actually scales out good left to right with the anti roll bar neutral. So if you ever gotta mess with it again, just sit in the driver's seat and have somebody to neutral it out for you. You know how to do that? Yeah. So I'll we'll always do the the passenger side link. You should never have to touch the driver's side link. You just do the passenger side. Yeah. With you sitting in it, yeah. just have somebody crack the jam nuts loose and spin it till it's sloppy, till it's free, and that's neutral. Yeah. Lock her down. Yeah. All right. Good. Easy enough. Yeah. How do you tell if it's got door bars? Well, if that sounds door bar. -y. So it's got like spot welds in here. And then there's a welded bar going across. I mean, your door panel's about falling off, but oh, yeah, you just take it, yeah, give it a little <laughs> peek. Here, I got you. <laughs> Shot some light up in there. I can't see It'll it. It'll be on the other side of the glass. Let me see. You see it? Yeah, yeah you see that big old bar running across yeah. there? Shit. You roll your windows up, cut them out. That's free weight. How much is that? I mean, they're probably 15 pounds a side. Really? Yeah. Worth With the call up. off well, Rookie. Look, it's already coming off like you said. It's man. already helping you. It wants to be light. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, those are big. Thick boy in there? Yeah. Uh. It's got this, it's got a metal bar in it like this wide. <laughs> it's, it's the length of the door and it's this wide. Yeah, I told you. The size of a burger. Yeah. It's free. Oh. Remember who I was talking about rolling off the scales? How about that part? How about that part? Got it. Rick, you need to drive this. Ah. Yeah, I would love to put you in it. It'd be an awesome video. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm no stranger to putting anybody in my race car. <laughs> in, our, in our scanner. No you can at least make a hit down the street, right? I mean, yeah. I'm so whoop I, think I, I think I got you and Todd. Street hit. Yeah? Yeah. Come in.